this video uh, was actually sent to me directly from one of my followers. He told me, here, just post this video. But he sent it to me and he said, here, do this one. And I posted it and as a flat better, I seen immediately what was wrong. Uh, and, the, and the problem is, is I'm seeing more and more and more of open deck haulers, flat betters, uh, step deck, uh, heavy haul, doing things not properly. I want, I'm not sure if it's lazy, laziness, which I'm pretty much sure it's probably on the laziness side, or they're not properly trained. What's going on, Travis? Hey, what's going on? Man, I like your uh, background, man. I, I, I need an orange background. I'm, I'm <laughs> in, a, in this gaudy hotel here in Dallas right now. <laughs> uh, I bet that hotel is a lot better than one I'm in. You, you better stop with me. <laughs> <laughs> People shared uh, your uh, links to me, and I was like, I got to show my man some love here because I was like, are these some Wi-Fi straps or what? You know, I've been a bed bugger my whole life. <laughs> I never did flatbed. So I don't know what you're experiencing in the trucking game, but, you know, uh, welcome to the show. I appreciate you for being on, brother. And everybody, go check out Travis's Facebook page. Uh, shout out your channel and everything. Oh, uh, well, my Facebook page is just simple. It's Travis Pope Sr. As soon as you punch it in, it should come up as the top one as uh, the number one search on there. Uh, I just reached 100,000 followers, I think, today. On hey, I'm, I'm going to do uh, uh, this is this is my uh, mother trucker production that I got. You know, I'm, it's going to get better. I'm going to put uh, uh, your picture and your page right in the middle of us talking. But uh, congratulations to that. For people that don't understand what it takes to get 100,000 of anything, it's a lot of hard work and dedication, my friend. Yeah. Uh, and as far as experience, man, I've been driving 21 years. I'm a third generation truck driver and uh, I've done it all from uh tanker reefer uh flatbed flatbed is my favorite open deck now here 21 years man and i've done it all pretty much man that's excellent you know all you know all my family members are movers and i've been on the road moving furniture bed bugging for north american for 10 years but besides that i don't know nothing else about nothing else and i'll never pretend to right so it's <laughs> great that you caught this right here since you have experience in the flatbed world tell me where you were at and what exactly did you see? Because even me being a bed bugger, I'm like, something ain't right about this load. Um, well, this video uh, was actually sent to me directly from one of my followers. He told me, here, just post this video. Um, they a lot of my, my a lot of my guys, they, they send me videos that they don't want. No, they don't want no part of. They just send them to me. Uh, I think you might get some of that, too. Uh, you yeah. know how they do it. Um, but he sent it to me and he said, here, do this one. And I posted it, and as a flat better, I seen immediately what was wrong. Uh, and, the, and the problem is, is I'm seeing more and more and more of open deck haulers, flat betters, uh, step deck, uh, heavy haul, doing things not properly. I don't, I'm not sure if it's lazy, laziness, which I'm pretty much sure it's probably on the laziness side, or they're not properly trained. And flatbed is not the same as dry van. Flatbed is not the same as dry, uh, reefer hauler. It's a whole new beast. It's 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 one of the most dangerous out here in the trucking industry, especially when you're hauling steel and steel coils. Uh, the suicide coils themselves are dangerous. And these guys, I've often said that there needs to be a whole new endorsement just for flatbedding or open deck hauling because these guys – are putting people's lives at risk on that road by not having uh, the straps on that road. What happened is, is that a lot of times the customer will tell the driver, hey, you need to get off our property, you know, mm. instead of allowing him to secure the load. But drivers need to understand it doesn't matter what the customer says at that point. At that point, that load is on your truck. Once you hit the public highway, you're in federal regulation. Once you hit the public highway, you're under federal regulation. If that load is not secure, that that's a whole mess of problems. That's points three times the points on your uh, your CSA. Uh, you're putting people's lives at risk. Uh, our, uh, I know you just recently got married because I do watch your page. Um, but the thing is, 
our wives, our children are all dependent upon drivers doing their jobs and doing right. it correctly. And when I seen that video, I was like, what? And that's not the only one I've seen. I've seen them do it with coils. You know, that's not crazy. Properly, and what was that look specifically? Shipping. That looked like it was, uh, 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 I would say slinky kind of, I, I would have to guess it's probably a plastic pipe that was, um, uh, conduit, probably conduit. That's what I looked at. It was like it was conduit. But even if that fell off and a car hit it, it could tear up a car. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And those things, you know, What's what's crazy to me is people will go by and uh, I mean, these days no one's flagging anyone down either. <laughs> no, no. And even if the customer told you, look, you have to get off our property to secure it, throw one strap, at least one strap just to get 15 feet down the road or, you know, just a little bit down the road to get the straps on it. But going on the road with absolutely no straps whatsoever, that. If I was a DOT officer, I would have put him out of service. I would have wrote him up all kinds of stuff because oh, yeah. you put you put my family at risk by doing that. You know, put no, your family at risk. No, Travis, honestly, that's great advice. You know, um, you know, besides that, which is great advice, even if the shipper tells you, hey, leave the yard right away, at least throw one strap. I like that advice. Uh, what's another one you'd love to give people out there that are doing some flat bedding? Um, well, uh, 50 miles down the road after you've got loaded, stop and check your straps, check your securement. Uh, if you're not sure about how much securement you're supposed to have, throw an extra strap on it, extra chain on it. Remember, no one has ever got an, a citation for having too much securement, but you have got citations for not enough securement. And wow. securement. And securement is what protects our families, your families, and other fellow truck drivers out here. No, I appreciate that, Travis. You know, you know, I've been watching your show, and I, you know, I saw that video. I thought it would be a great opportunity to have you on the show. That uh, with your 21 years experience, you know, for all these uh, truck drivers that are out here that are running the spot market, that aren't, they're that saying that they're not getting anything more than a dollar fifty a mile any way they go, and, and they're starving and they're dying. I mean, any advice? For any of these owner operators out here that are trying to make it and, and uh it everyone's telling me they're hurting real bad right now man it is it, it's tough out here uh my suggestion is is build some relationships man uh there's some good brokers out there there are some good brokers and build those relationships with those brokers that will run you you know i've got a few brokers that i know that i can get loads anywhere you know, and I get, and they pay me pretty good. Why? Because they know me when they see my phone number pop up on there, they say, Hey, Travis, you know, they know me by my name, you know, and those are the brokers I use the ones that, that I don't know. I rarely use them. Uh, but the brokers I know I built a relationship over my 21 years and they've helped me out. And that's the ones I use, build your relationship with them. That's the best thing you can do. No, I think that's good advice. You know, I, I think sometimes people, they like to generalize and say that all brokers are scammers and this and that. I mean, there's a lot of bad ones, but I'm like, there's, there's gotta be a lot of good ones too. Right. Oh yeah. There's all, there's a lot of good ones. You just got to know them. Uh, the brokers, they like a lot of the brokers I know I was set on the phone with them and chit chat with them, talk with them, shoot the, shoot the bull with them, you mm -hmm. know, and if, if they know you as a person, they know you as a human, they're most likely to throw you the best deal. That's what I do. I talk oh, that's, great. that's great advice. You know, at the end of this, you know, fun little interview, uh, anything else you'd like people know about you that they don't already know? Uh, uh, trucking is my passion, man. That's about all I can say. Trucking is my passion. No, I love it. No, I Hey, I appreciate you for being on the show. And uh, definitely, uh, everybody, all the mother truckers out there, all the truck drivers out there, you know, show Travis some love on his social medias. I'll put his links down below. I've seen a lot of his videos. This man knows what he's talking about. And I definitely, uh, I promote this man and what he's doing. And you got a lot of fun videos out there, too. So, <laughs> you know, uh, I appreciate, I appreciate you. you. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, this, this is good. You know, um, I always love the opportunity to collaborate where I can because – 
people don't know anything about me either. You know, they just see me put up 11,000 videos every single day. And, you know, they're like, why does this guy care about trucking? You know, and I'll be honest, it's just you're either in trucking or you're not in trucking. And I mean, yeah. that's that's it, pretty much what that comes down to. It, right. Exactly, man. And, and some of us are born for it. Some of us not. You know, it's in my blood. You know, third generation. I, uh, it, I'm in. I'm right now. My truck is in the shop getting repaired. Uh, had some injectors go out. You know, I'll be back in it probably Friday or Monday. I, it's dry. I'm gnawing at the bone. I'm gnawing at the door right here, trying to get back in my truck. I, I, <laughs> I got to get that. I got to get that white line fever back down in my mind out there. So, oh man. Oh no. Well, I appreciate you. I, I hope you're safe. Congratulations on everything that you're doing out there, and you know, getting putting out the good word for all the truck drivers out there and showing some fun, debatable videos as well, you know, keeping us entertained. So yeah, we'll talk to you soon, brother. No, wishing the best always. All right, man. You take it easy. Be careful. Yes, sir. Bye.